June 3rd, 2019. I was doing my homework and the Lord told me to check my battery percentage and it was on 55%. This is a number that the Lord shows me very frequently. The Lord told me to calculate the number of minutes that my phone had been on 55% and it was exactly 12 minutes. The Lord spoke to me and said, it's midnight. After I finished doing my homework, I laid down and took a nap. Suddenly, I heard knocks on the window. And in my spirit, I heard a baby cry. <laughs> the baby is about to be born. A 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake struck the coast of El Salvador early Thursday, sending frightened residents fleeing out of their homes. Shortly after the quake, El Salvador's Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources warned of a possible tsunami and advised people to stay away from the coast for a few hours. Tremors knocked out powers in some areas, but there has been no report of damages or injuries. A barrage of severe storms striking overnight, tornadoes touching down for a 13th straight day. This was the scene in Canton, Texas. You can see a structure being torn apart. Oh! Power flashes, power flashes. That twister mangling, traffic lights destroying this gas station. Luckily, none of the gas pumps igniting. In Iowa, this twister tearing across a road. In Illinois, straight line winds were powerful enough to flip a small airplane. A tornado near Kansas City Tuesday was a powerful EF4 with winds up to 170 miles per hour. That tornado on the ground for 32 miles, leaving a trail of destruction. Well, this is the second year in a row smoke this bad has rolled in. It hung around for weeks last year, and it's unclear how long it will stick around this time. Climate change has happened, is happening, and will continue to happen. And one of the manifestations of that phenomena is uh, an increase in the frequency and the magnitude of fires. Today's broadcast, I do have a breaking news report. The Jerusalem Post is reporting that at least five Syrians, including a soldier in the Syrian army, were killed in an alleged Israeli attack on the T-4 airbase in the eastern Homs province on Sunday night, one day after clashes between the two foes. A military source was quoted by Syrian military as saying that regime air defenses confronted an Israeli aggression and destroyed two rockets targeting the T-4 airport, adding that other Israeli rockets caused the death of one soldier and injured two others. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights later reported that at least five Syrians were killed, including a soldier in the Syrian army. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Cameron, speak these words, my son, for my body and bride must know the hour in which they're in. Strong deception has fallen among you, my children, but I will give you guidance so that you won't be deceived. My anger is pointed towards those who deceive my elect, Angry I am with the world, and they will see my anger on that day. Dark it will be, the father of lies will have his reign. But fear not, my children, for you will be swept up by my mighty right hand before that hour falls upon all of the inhabitants. Yes, the mockers and scoffers are upon you, and some of you are letting them discourage you and bring failure in your land. Don't listen to them and don't cave in. For the devil is as a lion seeking those whom he may devour. Am I lying when I say, the hour is late, your savior is coming? Surely not. I tell you this because it's true. But many deny and turn from me. I cry for those who have made such a decision to do so, for much regret will be in their hearts. The foolish hides in sin, but the wise forsakes sin and strives to be holy. Do you feel conviction in your heart? It's me. Why do you close the door and say, eh, it's all right, I'll repent on Sunday, or maybe another day, but today I will indulge in sin. Come to me, my children, for sin only brings joy to the flesh, which is temporal, but I bring joy to the spirit, that which is everlasting. Enter into my presence, and don't be afraid to speak to me, for when you pray and focus on me and only me, verily I tell you, I am present in the room with you. 
lift up my name and blessings shall fall among you put me first and your cares shall be no more put me first and your everlasting father will guide you and supply for you yes the midnight cry shall sound and you will ascend higher and higher into my kingdom your lord loves you protects you and treasures you behold i jesus am coming my confirmation number was 911, which means the beginning, Father of light, everlasting light, God the Father, remnant, and I will raise. Thank you all so very much for watching this video. I pray that this message blessed and encouraged each and every single one of you all that is under the sound of my voice. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I encourage you to go down to the comment section below and say the pinned salvation prayer. God bless and shalom.